Well, hi there. I'm Rob Wade, the V14. Uh, also talk Star Wars, but that's not why I'm here today, although I thought I'd represent. Um, I'm here because I've got these boxes that have been sat on my side for a couple of weeks, waiting to be unboxed, and I thought now's as good a time as any to get them unboxed. Uh, I've been in the process of moving house, as some of you who follow me on Twitter will know, and so you'll be able to see the fruits of that in the form of this lovely room, which is painted and decorated and furnished and so on. So what I'm going to do today, uh, inspired by my friend Quite Very John, whose video I'll put in the sidebar, which is this side, uh, he unboxed a Zbox Threads video, which is one of the clothing ones they do. Um, so I thought what I'd do is, I've had these boxes for a couple of uh, weeks, in some cases a month or so, uh, ready to unbox, and I thought I might as well do it on YouTube, because, fuck it, there's worse things on here. So, this is the Zbox. Should have thought that through, never mind. This is the February Zbox, which is known as the Killer. Uh, it's in a men's large. You don't have to get it like that if you don't want to. Obviously, if you're a female or you're a different size to me, then by all means, fill your boots. But the reason I'm doing this now, people think, well, hang on, this is a subscription box. It's February and March. Why would you do it now in what will be published in probably early April? Well, the answer is because Zabby, unlike some of the others, or at least that I've noticed, do half price boxes that haven't sold in previous months. So actually, if you see one here that you like, you could have the possibility to buy it discounted later on so that it would be uh, all the same stuff that's in this box at half the price. So that'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's crack on. So they've made it a nice, easy format to open. So it's a shoebox style. So let's begin. Oh, fucking hell. So as mentioned, this is the killer themed box. So this is February's box. I'm expecting there to be Deadpool related stuff in here because um, Deadpool came out in that month so I think it's probably going to be themed somewhere in there. So, <laughs> okay, so first things first you get a plush Chucky from Child's Play, even with a little blade look, bless him. So he's, he's quite nifty actually isn't he, look at that, floppy hair. It's got a little knife, it says good guys on it, lovely. It's from Bride of Chucky, okay, so I don't know if you can get that in there. I'll zoom in if I can using the software. But that's a Bride of Chucky plush, choking hazard. I don't think I could fit, but obviously some people have got bigger mouths than me, not that you'd notice. And uh, small parts, not, ch not for children under three years. To be honest, if you've got a child under three years, I should be letting watching this fucking film anyway. That's pretty cool. Moving on. Let's see. Oh, very nice. A Star Wars Boba Fett mug. Now, my other half's going to be livid because we're not short of mugs in this place and we've already got too many. But it's Star Wars, it's Boba Fett. It's kind of part of my new, you know, my new talk Star Wars job. So, let's have a quick look. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Look at that. Almost like the Knights from Castle Crash as well. I've never noticed how much they look like Boba Fett. But there you go, they do. It's made by Paladone uh, of Brighton. Okay, Brighton Road anyway, BN postcode. So, shout out to my former stomping grounds. Sweet. What's this? That's pretty cool. A little, I'm not really sure what it is though, if I'm honest. It looks like the aliens from Mars Attacks, if you can see there, but it's a weird kind of fabricy thing. I'm not quite sure what it is. It might be a patch you can sew on to something, maybe like a jacket if you're a punk, or uh, you know, just like sewing things onto jackets. If it's a hobby of yours, good for you. I'm sure there'll be something in here about uh, what it is, and I'll feel like a right pillock. Let's see what we got. <laughs> That's a nice touch. So it's a business card, and if you can see there, I'll zoom as close in as I can. Patrick Bateman, Vice President of Pierce and Pierce Mergers and Acquisitions. Nice touch. So 
There's a item of clothing, which is why they take your size. Okay, I'm going to show my ignorance here, and I do apologise. Stovington Eagles. I'm not sure what that's a reference to at all. So I do apologise for this. Nonetheless, it's a pretty colour. And uh, I do like my some t-shirts. Oh, that's cool. There's a... Ah! Perfect. There's a little... Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a flip through here. This is pretty nifty. Yeah, it is a patch. Okay. So... <laughs> Okay, I know what's coming next. Uh, okay, so it's a tribute. So this t-shirt here is a tribute to the Stovington Eagles t-shirt worn by Jack Nicholson in The Shining. So it's actually not a direct reference to anything. It's actually a, an homage to something that he's wearing in another film. So, the Boba Fett mug, I've already mentioned. The American Psycho business card. This is quite nifty, actually. I have to give props to Zabby for this. There's a little magazine that comes with the uh, box, which tells you what's in it, and also gives you some uh, games and quizzes and stuff like that. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. The only thing is, obviously, if you're reading through this before you've opened the box, then you've spoiled it for yourself. And it also gives you a clue as to what's coming next time. Finally, a True Believers Deadpool number one, which appears to be, yeah, sure enough, it's the original uh, Deadpool comic and a graphic novel of Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. Now, I've read this one and it's fucking fantastic, so if you like yourself some comics, you could go work in this box here. Uh, and also, give it a bit of a thing here. Some lovely kind of individualised artwork on the inside of the box. It's pretty nifty. And then on the back you've got the, uh, the Z box details here. Hashtag Z box and then at the underscore Z box on Twitter where you can follow them and presumably get a hint, which I never have, as to what's coming next in the next box. So that'd be fun wouldn't it? Anyway Hope you've enjoyed this and uh, look forward to Guardians, the March box, which I've also got and I'm about to unbox on the same recording session. So enjoy that. Cheers. Bye.